What we're going to attempt to do, if you see all that, you know, whatever little wire that has right there, that's just pretty much it. That's coming from your stator, coming into his harness there, and then winds up coming around behind this bar. And you can see it right over. So it's very clearly this it. And the back wire, again, is just our starter motor wire. You have your positive and your negative ground. And then this is our enricher wire harness right there. And if you see on the other side of um, this wire here, it's, it's all, it changes color again. I love the way it keeps changing color, so you can't really reference one color type. It changes to a yellow wire. Again, these are not standard color codes. You're probably going to get different colors. I wouldn't be surprised if you got, like, colors of the rainbow. But, yeah, see there? It changes to a set of three uh, color wires, and this turned orange. I'm not sure. Maybe it was the same yellow. It just turned orange. But, yeah, there we go. That's it. And it runs to the bunch of wire harness and some goes directly to the battery and some gets tapped off and then into the rectifier. Now the rectifier is pretty interesting. We could probably check to see if there's continuity from this one right here, from the stator to the rectifier. Maybe that's what's actually uh, creating our AC, but the rectifier usually turns things to DC, uh, you know, converting the AC, um, AC voltage to DC for us so it can make this be used for our common stuff like our lights and everything. But let's find out. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a probe and see for our continuity again. So here we go. Open load, meaning there's no contact, no or open line. There we go. We're gonna just probe any one here. Okay, so we got that contact in there, right? Let's make sure there's it's, it's good. Uh, it's good. To, uh, what do you call it? Heat shrink. Okay, we'll leave it there. Oh yeah, I see it's bending. If it's bending, it's not getting into that little. I wanted to get into it, so let me see if I can probe it a little harder. Hopefully I don't penetrate any other insulation that shouldn't be open. Okay, there we go. I think I got it in there now. It's touching, it's rubbing, it's more solid. This. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna see where the rectifier is and we're gonna try to see which one's given the same continuity mean, which one is the same line going up to here. And we'll find out because it will be, it will let us know. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. First probe into the yellow one. Mm, not hearing nothing. Oh wait, I didn't set it for, see that thing you wanna make sure you set it to your audio beeping. Helps you right there. Okay, so you can see a little speaker icon right above. Okay, so let's do this again. We're gonna check for, just to make sure continuity just means the wire is, you know, a solid piece, a jointed, there's no broken. Does mean there might be no broken strands, but they still had, oh look at that, you hear it almost, right? I hear something, or that's a bird cheeping. <gasps> Stupid bird. <laughs> that was just bird cheeping. I thought I heard it. Okay, I'm testing ground. Sorry. Testing ground. Let's see if I can even bring it. I can't bring it closer because this thing will yank the red wire right off of there. Okay, I'm testing ground. I'm getting nothing. All right, let's test this one negative wire. Nothing. This yellow wire, nothing. I know these yellow wires here, these three right here, are running up to our our stator. Because remember again, on this end, you can kind of tuck it in, you see three wires here. That three wire is running through the rectifier right here. That's So that's where the harness is coming from. So we can pretty much assume that. It's not going to change color in the middle of a wire. It will change color in the junction. So those three wires come, and this ground is probably the same ground uh, running to our also our stator wire. And, but the pickup coil wire, it kind of stops at the CDI point, I believe. I don't see the black and white wire here in this end. I think I saw it, see a solid black one only. I think this is a solid black one. Let me make sure. See that? Yep, it's just a solid black one. And then we have our positive uh, battery power, I believe. There's a red one, I'm assuming. But let's just, just check for continuity. Okay, I'm probing into the red one already. Nothing. Black one. I'm sorry. Nothing. Green one. Nothing. The other side of the yellow one. Nothing. The other side of the yellow one. Nothing still. And the last one, the other yellow in the bottom. Okay. Now, if you want to check to make sure the meter is actually having contact or even good, you can put the yellow one here, right? And then this is open load. And we can check to see if those wires are legitimately the same yellow ones as it's junction so we're going to go ahead and take the probe out again this is a good way of just checking the lines you know you don't have to be electronic uh you know master or anything like that here we go see that i told you it was the same or yellow line going to the rectifier so we know it's beeping let me check the other one 
So all three of these are actually bringing in this, they're all connected. See that, they're all connected. All three of them. Sorry, see? All three of them are all connected. Yeah, see that? So they're all connected, all three of them. I don't know why they would bring three wires if they're the same wire and bring it here. Might as well just get one, three big wires. But who knows what else is doing inside here, maybe split off. But we, you know, we checked the continuity, so we know it's there. So what I'm thinking now is let's try to get our gauge to work. Maybe we can bring in the pickup wire. Um, I guess if we're bringing, we can bring it straight from the stator because we know this is the pickup wire here, how it turns the black and white. And the blue wire here from the Banjing is also connected to, let's see if I can show you. Get resolution, see? That blue wire here is our pickup wire going to the Banjing. So instead of tapping, you know, wire from here to here and just junction it over really quickly, um, we can just spice this off a little bit because this is the same continuity wire here that was going to our spark plug. Uh, sorry, that was going to our spark plug on this side, the ignition coils in the, the spark plug. That had the external one and it had the own wire but the benching replaces that so and then it also was the same wire going to here as well as well as being back up to here so before we even open this and check out the charge joint and see if that's, there's something faulty in the actual mechanism here let's do a jump test so we're going to jump our lead from here our pickup coil and we're going to give it a little bit more to this black and uh yellow wire that's bringing ac voltage pulse so let's go ahead and can't do it with my finger probably, so I'm gonna need a stripper. Let's go get one here. Probably just needs this real quick. Pull some wires out, it's not that hard. Just gotta yank it carefully. So we're just gonna use a little bit, because I wanna snap it off probably, maybe even make contacts in the future, who knows. But let's see here, just wanna take a little snippet. Oh, the thing about the snippet is it, it snippets it off. This is like very small strands. Maybe one or two the most. Yeah, very small. Okay, so what we do is actually get a proper wire splicer here. Okay. Maybe we set in the second slot here. Oh, come on. This is supposed to be plug and play. I could have used this and just probe it in there. I can create a short that way, but we'll see. Through our meter. There we go. Okay, so I got some exposed wire here in the tip, which is good for us to test in the future anyway, or even make use of it. There we go, you can see there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump it. I am gonna go and get some alligator clips here. I'm gonna put it here. So we're gonna like connect it to, cause we can't just take the blue wire off directly and put it in here cause we won't get spark. Remember again, that blue wire needs to connect to our Banjing when the Banjing uh, pretty much takes that and creates spark to the spark plug. So we still need that, but we want our RPM to work somehow. So maybe it just needs to add on 